The homeless mother charged with stealing her child's education was in court today to face mm. new charges. That's right. 33-year-old Tanya McDowell is now accused of selling crack, cocaine, and pot. News 8's Aaron Cox on the scene in Norwalk with late details on the case. The lawyer says when this homeless mom was arrested right near this Norwalk school, it was simply retaliation because she's gotten so much publicity for that other case of trying to sneak her kid into a Norwalk school. But cops say when they arrested her here, she had over 50 bags of drugs on her. 33-year-old Tanya McDowell sitting alone in court on the drug charges. No sign of her supporters this time. Tanya is, is very disappointed. She's um, very upset and she's, uh, she feels like she let her child down. Last time, she was surrounded by people outraged over her arrest on larceny charges. Police say the homeless mom lied, using a friend's address in order to enroll her son in kindergarten at Norwalk's Brookside School. The NAACP, even the Reverend Al Sharpton speaking on her behalf. Not this time. You don't just get in, in involved in something and get halfway down the stream and then back up and say, oh, I don't want to be involved right now. What in the hell is everybody so scared for? These evidence photos show bags of pot and crack police claim McDowell was carrying when arrested Friday near a school. Court documents claim McDowell offered the undercover officer prostitutes she was pimping from her aunt's home in Bridgeport. McDowell's lawyer claims cops were going after her, calling the drug arrest retaliation due to publicity over the school case. She just finished a job readiness program, just finished a drug rehab program, and and this is the response to put together a team to take her down. Norwalk's police chief calls that accusation, quote, ridiculous and irresponsible. At this point, Tonya McDowell is not expected to make bail and will be in custody in the women's prison. Her lawyer is trying to get relatives to care for her son. Reporting on the scene in Norwalk, I'm Erin Cox, News 8.